You see, as a black man, if you told me I can make an easy 500, I'd be like, okay, bro, bet. How can I make this 500? You tell me that all I have to do is go into a asylum and just record footage, I will tell you in the most nicest way to fuck off. Nice, the door was unlocked. Ah, it can get a little sticky sometimes. So here's the story behind the St. Augustine's Asylum for the Mentally Ill. It was founded in the 1880s, closed in the 1960s, and a lot of nasty stuff happened here. I mean, this places only supposed to house around 500 patients but at its peak it was around 3300 patients in here i mean the place was 3300 you know, violent monsters and basically said let god sort it out the atrocities in here are just too much to count this is where that the hundred hallways patients would convene and that goes by itself his voice is overlapping yeah, right now Is this Ghost Hunters the fuck? <laughs> okay, spirits of St. Augustine, please reveal your presence to us. Show us that you are in this room. Feel free to interact with anything or speak to yeah. us. Use your words, use your voice, and let us know that you're here. Okay, play that back. Try it again. The no fuck. All right, all right. Let's try this. Ghosts of Saint Augustine, please let us know that you are still in this hospital. I give mm -hmm. you permission to reveal yourself. Mm -hmm. I give you permission to come to life. Just give us a sign that you are here. Tell us where you are. Speak to us now into this microphone. All right, check that. Now into this microphone. Alright, let's try one more spot. <sighs> no, 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 producer. I don't. Producer, please stop. <laughs> producer, stop. I don't want to do this. So. Ghosts of St. Augustine, you're all a bunch of ghoulish pricks. <laughs> Show up Why are you disrespecting me? Was right. laughing. Go down the morgue hallway. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Now the, the morgue hallway. The morgue hallway. Ghosts and spirits in this hospital. Hey, 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 hey! I didn't say that. My producer said it. I am. I'm so sorry. I. I didn't. I. I. Please don't. Don't harm me. That's all my producer. Bro, I swear, I need to get a face cam because, like, when he did that, bro, oh, my God. My mouth is wide open, bro. Oh, okay, the four areas you need to visit to fulfill your contract, the e-social area is the first on the list. This is the area where the inmates who are deemed a danger to society would convene. You'll go to this room and perform a summoning ceremony. A so summoning? The center and we will begin. A summoning ceremony, okay. The worst of the worst, including Clive the Peeper Johnson. You'd think he would be a pervert with a nickname the Peeper, but the truth is far worse. He was extremely manipulative and very intelligent. He was a murderer and a maimer. Most of his victims could never identify him because he managed to convince them to gouge their own eyes out with metal wires and even what their own the... fingernails. He came here due to legal loopholes, and when the facility went off the rails and the doctor stopped caring, he jumped into action. The patients who didn't listen were tortured, and the ones who did wandered around the facility, blind, screaming, and in constant fear. This door's locked too. Let's just start the ceremony. 
What the f yo? Oh, hey, hey, hold up, bro. Hey, hold up, bro. What the f your restraints? Come forward and live again. This person is no longer shielded from the realm of the dead. What the f you may be seen, interact, and manipulate him in any way as you see fit. No, the f summoning ceremony and said that I am free range to be fucked with by 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 by, by paranormal entities. Oh god, the door's open. The door is literally it, it was it was locked, now it's wide open. What was that? I need more than 500 to keep doing this damn job. <gasps> oh, <fuck. sighs> oh god, oh god, what am I doing? Why am I playing this? Y'all see this? Yeah. Y'all see this, right? Y'all see this? What? Wait, I'm black. What am I doing? Why, why am I walking towards the end? It's just a ghost. It's just a ghost. It's just a ghost. Get out! I'm out! I'm out! I'm I'm leaving! I'm leaving! I'm leaving! Peeper, peeper. Can I not run? Can I not run? Can I not? All right, get out of this hallway and then take a take your second right. You know this man's white, bro. If bro, I'm. Oops, damn it, damn it. Oh, okay, there's a there's a staircase. Take this staircase up the second floor, and you should be next to a fire escape. You should be able to get out that way. So so go up the staircase. Bro, a black person will be will be running. They'll be running. It's locked. It's locked. Boss man, it's locked. Crap. Oh, okay, we need to... Let's go get something to pry this door open. Go back downstairs. I, I bet you there was something downstairs we could probably use. Hold on, hold on. That staircase wasn't there before. This place doesn't even have a basement. What the, oh. what, what is going on? You All know right, what's right, going on. You summoned him. I don't think you got any other choice. I think you gotta make your way downstairs. I gotta keep going downstairs. No, no, no. There's someone saying no, don't do it. Oh no 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 Bro, I'm telling you man. Nope, keep walking. Keep walking. Oh. If I make it out of here alive, I'm beating my producer's ass, bro. I hit bro, he's getting this he's getting this shit rocked. Okay, you got me. You got me. You got me. Wait. No eyes, no eyes. Don't see. What the hell? That's from the ceiling. That's from the ceiling, bro. I better be a billionaire after this, bro. We got. Ooh. 
Oh, well. All right, confession time. Uh, it's about the eye. I kind of hid this from you. There's an urban legend, and, and I, I repeat, it's an urban legend about the peeper Clive Johnson. You see, the, there was a patient who suffered from dementia and swore that Clive was more than just a mere man, and uh, he would kind of haunt this patient all throughout the day, you know, rampant hallucinations that progressively got worse, but at night, he never saw the peeper. Then he discovered that if he closed his eyes, he could escape Clive, but whenever he opened them, Clive would be there, waiting for him Bruh. and getting closer and closer. Eventually, the patient used a fork and he blinded himself. And while he was soaked in his blood from his sockets, he screamed to the entire hospital that he was free, he was safe. And a week later, two more patients charged Clive with stalking them, even though he was confined to solitary. I mean, it's crazy. They, they took their eyesight, too. His pattern didn't stop. I thought it was BS, but based on what we've seen tonight, I don't pretty much believe anything. So, try to get the hell out of there, and if it gets too intense, try to shut your eyes. So, my producer just... Wow, his eyes right here. What the hell? Bro, producer. Producer, did I ask? Damn, that's... Damn flashlight broke. <sighs> can't use that anymore. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, nah, I'm out. Come closer. Come closer. I love how I love how the game says run, but yet, but yet I can't run. Oh, he's chasing me. Why can't I run? Oh God, it's patient. I can't run. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Come on! Come on! Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, open the door! <laughs> let me run! Let me run, man. please! Let me run! Let me run! Oh, break my fucking mouse, bro! Come on, open the door! I'm gonna turn around and get fucked, on I, bro? That's the move. He's just gonna bend me over, bro, isn't he? Oh. I gotta get a choice? What? Either he bodies me or I body myself? Holy crap, man. I can't believe you just did that. You freaking gouged your eyes out with a scalpel. Are you alright? Are you alright? from your camera bad news is it's pitch black there, there's no light your room Bru there's nothing I could see the flashlight went out and, and we, we don't even know where you are I'm not going in there I, I, I'm not going, going in, in there. there I'm not going in there I'm Bru hell no look uh, I'm if you can't feel anything I, I'm sorry we're not coming. We're not I'm coming. Sorry, man. I have to go. I have to go. I'm sorry. Wow. Wow. I did all that. I did all that for 500. Hey, Al Heck, man. That's a good job, man. That's a good job, bro. All right, we're back at it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get the second uh, ending to this game. So um, I'll see you guys in like 10 minutes. Oh, I don't want to do this. I 
gotta let this man get me, bro. Come on. He takes me, he probably doesn't kill me. I don't know. Holy crap. I can't believe it. That was the most disturbing, terrifying, and greatest paranormal footage that has ever been taken wow. in the history of television. Oh my god, Tom. We're going to win an Emmy. We might be on talk show. Bruh. Did it? Him? Him? <laughs> I'm not going in there. Are you going to go in there? I'm not going in there. Hell no. This producer, you know, bro. We don't even know where he is in that hospital. The camera's black. He's not responding. I don't see anything. Do you? No. No, no. We're getting out of here. And uh, anyways, another crazy thing about this. He needs to collect his money, too. I don't think he's going to be coming here anytime soon. So so we, we basically Damn. got all this footage for free, dude. Let's just start the band up. Let's get the hell on out of here. We've Let's been just start the van for, up. Let's I don't know, a couple hours, just a little bit too long. I'm a little sore. I need to stretch out. And my very wealthy friend, you, are starting to stink. All right, I'm going to do it. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did, did you hear that? Did you, did you yes, hear that? Get him. Listen, listen. A little closer. That, that was outside the truck. That was outside the truck, right? So, listen. Shh. I see you now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, producer. Mm -hmm. Get him out of here. Let's go. That man really pulled that. That's crazy, bro. All right, you know what, guys? I'm going to call it right there. I was planning on doing three games, but I just got done playing this game, and yo, that's, I'm ended right there. That's, I'm ended on a good note, man. That game was good. It was made in 10 days. 10 days. Al Heck and the team at Game Dev HQ. Bro, y'all going places. Y'all going places, man. I swear. Y'all going places. Clap it up. <laughs> Clap it up. They're going places, bro. Oh, God. Anyways, I'm going to catch you guys later on the next one. So, um, 